Alright, what's up guys? So, I'm just going to be bringing you a video on the fastest, easiest way to AFK train your gen cord. Now, I'm not I'm not going to try to make this video too long, so I'll just get right to the point. So, I know when the Bijou Clicks first came out, everybody was like so hyped, they want to get their Bijou Click immediately. And then people started realizing like, damn, this thing's a bitch to grind. Like, it takes a very long time. Well, I'm here to help you guys. So, we're going to start off with the first the first method which is this is going to level you through level one of your gen cloak all the way until you unlock your demon form if you don't know what that is your demon form is this Just give me a second so this is your demon form and unlocks at different levels i think for each gen cloak but mine unlocked at level 880 so anyway so you're you're going to get your gen cloak and you're going to be at one so the strategy for leveling your gen cloak from starting at level one is you're going to go in on the log just keep spamming it and you're going to use oh wait Hold on, let me de-equip this. Alright, so you're gonna be sitting here just punching the log over and over again. And then as soon as your Q and your Z moves come off cooldown, you're just gonna wanna use them immediately. So just keep doing that, you're just gonna wanna use them immediately. And just You just keep sitting here punching the log and just using Q and Z over and over again until you run out of mode. And then once you run out of mode, let your mode bar come back, rinse and repeat. That's the same thing that you do over and over again. Alright. Now, the second strategy that I'm going to teach you guys is once you unlock your demon form, there's a better way to do it. So with the most recent update, every time you go into your demon form, you roar. This roar hits for a different number depending, depending on your ninjutsu. So I have max ninjutsu and chakras, so mine hits for a lot, and this gives me 5k ECXP every time I use this. So, this strategy may not work as good as well for you if you don't have high ninjutsu. But anyway, if you do have high ninjutsu, you're basically just going to keep sitting here, spamming this transformation over Z and whatever, uh, whatever number it is to And you're going to want to do this, and you can also use your Q move while you're doing this. So see, so you just use your Q move and keep your uh, transforming. Just do that over and over. So, so you get to your whatever. So, yeah. Those are the two strategies. The first one's from level one of your gen cloak, the first form, to your demon form. And then the second one is from your demon form until you get your max Bishu cloak. I only have one of my Bishu cloaks right now, but yeah, you get the idea. Alright, so now people are going to be like, well yeah, no shit, basically everybody knows that. Like, what's so special about this? Well, you obviously don't want to sit there for hours on end doing this. So this is where my strategy comes in. You are going to need two external programs to do this strategy. One, you're going to need an auto clicker. I use GS auto clicker for any people that are curious. And two, this is the program that you do need. It's called Tiny Task. Basically, Tiny Task, you can press a button to start recording. It will record any actions that you do on your keyboard. So this allows you to set up sort of a macro that will just keep on continuously going without you having to press anything. So I'm just going to tell, tell you guys um, how it works. So we're going to start off with the first strategy. The first strategy you're going to be in this. So once you download Tiny Task, you're going to come in here, go to Preferences, and you see Recording Hotkey. I have mine on F8. I recommend you do the same thing. And Playback Hotkey on Control shift alt p So Recording Hotkey is going to start recording the actions. Playback is going to playback, obviously. So what you're going to want to do, you come up to the log, press, or here, let me get on my chair. So you're going to start in just like no transformation whatsoever. You're going to have max mode. Don't, don't pay attention to this. You, you should have max mode when you do this. So you're going to start recording, pre hold Z, transform, and then you're going to want to activate your auto clicker. And then you just got to keep using the Q and Z as you're recording. And then you just want to keep on doing this until your mode bar comes front though. And yeah, so you just want to sit here, keep on auto-clicking against the dummy until your mode runs out. And make sure that you're using Q and Z whenever your abilities come off cooldown. Alright, so after your mode bar, I'm not going to sit here because that's going to take a while, but after your mode bar comes off cooldown, or once your mode bar runs out, make sure that you let it get all the way back up, stop you, or deactivate your auto-clicker, and then end the recording. To end the recording, you just press F8. And here, I'll just like, so, I just end, I just press F8 on my keyboard. I know you can't see it, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, and by the way, once you start recording, it'll say right here that it's recording. This will turn red. But, so, anyways, after you do that, you just go up to the log. And you just, you use Control, Alt, Shift, and P. 
and it'll just do the action for you. You don't have to press anything, it'll just sit here doing Just like that. Easy as cake. Or, e yeah, you know what I mean. But anyways, so that's the strategy, because, you know, it's, it's hella easy. You don't have to sit here doing anything. It's not going to be boring. And, um, so you're basically just putting the first strategy that I taught you. It, feel free to resume the video if you need to. Or, I mean, uh, go back in the video if you need to. And then, so, basically for the second method, you're doing the same exact thing. So you're going to press F8, start recording. You're to go into your mode, go into your demon form, and then you're just going to keep doing the action. Like I told you. You're going to go into your mode, keep using your Q ability, keep going into your mode. You're just going to keep doing this until your mode goes. Now while doing this, your mode bar is going to run out a lot slower than it was the first method because each time you transform, your mode bar stops you. So you can be able to stay in this mode for a lot longer. But yeah, basically that's it. You just keep doing this and that's it. It's as easy as that. Like I said, you just keep doing that until your mode bar goes all the way down. You let your mode bar come all the way back up and then you stop recording. With the, you, then you stop recording on Tiny Touch. Just press F8 again. Then, you know, to start the same thing. My bad. Not mean to bring that up. To start the same thing. You come out of your mode. You just go up to it. You go. Simple as that. You see the transform to that. You see the transform to that. There you go. Easy as that. Now you just let it sit here. Sit here overnight. Sit here for the And that's it. It's as easy as that. And then, um... Uh, so I, I imagine I'll keep your at one or two so how the hell do I get this to keep going? Yeah, this is basically, it's really simple. Just go to Preferences and Tiny Task, or it's this little icon, and there are several versions of Tiny Task. You just go into here, and then you'll see Continuous Playback, check that box, and then boom, you're good to go. Just like that. If you guys have any comments about this method, or if you think that you have a better method or ways to improve it, just uh, let me know in the comment sections, and uh, yeah, I hope this helped a lot of people. Anyways, see you guys, thanks for watching.